Hey guys, and welcome to the vid. Follow me on IG at Stella.Ray and subscribe. As you guys know, I answer a lot of questions on Tumblr as of like recently. And I got one that I really wanted to talk about. It's not so much a question, it's just like a topic that sort of sparked my interest. Someone anonymously said, I can't help it, but I'm so jealous of you and your life. I think the main thing to keep in mind, which I know I've talked about before on my channel and just on social media is that when you are looking at someone's life on YouTube or Instagram or social media or even someone you know in real life, like you never know, I guess, the full picture. And that's especially with social media. There's a difference between being fake, but then also it's literally impossible to post your entire life. Every single thought you have, every single like moment where you're doubting yourself or don't feel confident. I don't try to be someone else on social media, but it's not like you're seeing my entire life. Everyone has ups and downs and goes through, again, like times of insecurity or lack of confidence or doubt in themselves. And that's just like a part of the human experience. It's been such a process for me to get to the headspace I'm in currently. And I, you guys know me, I'm always working on self-improvement, things that can improve my overall quality of life and just, you know, staying grounded, practicing things like meditation and listening to affirmations and listening to 528 hertz, being healthy, drinking my green juice, you know, all of these things make you feel good. And that's also been a process for me and like learning, and I'm still in the process of like learning what works, doing one thing a day, whether it's meditating or taking time for yourself, or taking a little workout, taking a walk, being out in nature. So I think just keeping in mind that we're all on our own journeys and that you can't compare yours to someone else because they're like, they're equal, but at the same time, they're so different. And everyone is gonna go through life lessons regardless of their circumstances. At the same time, I also think that like pain or struggle is relative. Like someone's situation could be very drastically different than yours or someone else's, but we're still gonna go through the same emotions and the same intensity of emotions as you would in any of, as any of those people would, if that makes sense. First of all, no one's as cool as they are on social media. No one's life is like that, because that's just, it's like Instagram. That's not life, that's Instagram. What matters is that you are working every day to be a better you. You're trying your best every day, and maybe your best varies from day to day, but it's still your best of that day in that moment. You can't just sit around resenting other people for having certain things or living a certain way. And you know, that's that's a waste of your energy. That's energy you could be putting back into yourself and your goal, your own goals and dreams and the life that you want. I have a choice here. I can either keep looking at this random IG or I can go do a meditation. <laughs> Refocus your energy. I just want to share my thoughts on that because it's such a relevant topic. Like social media can I, I feel like it's low-key bad in so many ways. But it's like, okay, as long as we realize like it's what its purpose is and use it as a tool rather than as a judge my life based on this, I think it's fine. So, um, yeah, it's Sunday today. I don't really know what I'm going to be getting into, but I guess we shall find out. Update. I said, bitch, I'm gonna do me. Gonna make some pre-workout. Didn't really like actively want to work out today. I think a good I don't know, people are like, how do you stay motivated or like whatever, but for me, it, it's like the motivation's easy. It's like knowing when to chill the fuck out. So I think like listen to your body and know the difference between like you mentally not wanting to do something and then your body like physically telling you to stop. Like your body needs to rest, but then there's a difference between that and like you being lazy. So know the difference. Like today my body feels great. I feel like energized and good. I'm just mentally like, you know, it would be nice to like, I'm like, oh, I have to walk all the way there. So yeah, I cut this more. Um, <clears throat> and these gray leggings with these rips that I'm not like super stoked about, but I love that they're really high-waisted. If you kick ice under the thing, just know I don't respect you. Okay, so pick it up, bitch. I am wondering if the gym is going to be more busy or less busy because, um, they have shorter hours today because it's Memorial Day weekend. I'm wondering if people, I'm always so interested in the psychology behind like when people decide to go to the gym. Oh my God, I gotta get my work in or people are gonna be like, fuck it, I don't wanna go and it's gonna be empty. An empty gym is my, like I get like a high when I see an empty gym, I'd say. Like I physically like, 
like dopamine gets released for sure. I am going to the gym today. Um, I'm not gonna bring my camera. Gyms usually are really worried about filming, so that's why when I do film my workouts, it's usually like in my apartment gym. So I'm just gonna do a leg day today, so I'm basically just gonna do what I did. I think it's two videos ago now, so it's called like a day in my life. I show basically my full leg day routine. I do add other stuff when I'm at the actual gym because they do have more options, like the leg press and um, I don't know, just a couple more of the machines. But it's pretty much the same idea. I do legs two to three times a week, but usually three times a week. And I do a day for back and a day for arms. I don't know, it's like I wanna like build it up obviously, but my main focus is ass and legs. Let me know if you have any questions on how I really started building it because it's definitely been a lot of trial and error. But I'd say the main things that have really sped up the progress these past couple months. Let me just like talk about this for a second. I would never squat before because I was like low key scared. Um, but doing like sometimes I do Smith machine squats, but it was always like rare. So I, I'd say the main things that have really sped up my growth is finally getting over my fear of squats and doing that. I've been doing that for like a few months now. Um, and doing legs like three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, you know, I took a rest day. Eating a lot more protein and being more aware of my macros. Eating like more, but also being aware of like what I'm eating. So I, I would suggest Chronometer or MyFitnessPal, just kind of like tracking, keeping it in mind. It really is just about your muscle mind connection because if you're just like doing your exercises and you're just like, okay, whatever, I want to get this over with. I don't know, it's, it's so different than when you're actively focusing on the exercise, trying to like pay attention to your form super well and keeping the muscles that you're trying to activate in mind, like it makes the biggest difference. Really focusing on my form, like core strength, tightening my core, having good posture, all of these things really come together. I look back at just like what I used to do or used to think and like, it's like, LOL. That's part of the process and I'm sure like a few months from now I'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe I wasn't doing this or like, I thought that this, like whatever. Yeah, I feel like it is pretty simple once, once you have the basics down. So if you're trying to get thick or, you know, if you're trying to slim down, whatever, whatever your goals are, just having those basic things like diet is really important, consistency, but also getting enough rest, just your overall lifestyle is so important. It's going to make such a difference in how you feel, how fast you get results, all of that. It's so rewarding to get results. Like I'm looking at photos from Eat Drink Vegan that I took with other people because I feel like, you know, when I take photos myself, it's like I know my good angles. I know how to make myself look how I want to look, like with certain poses and stuff and just, yeah, like angles. So when someone else is taking a photo of me and I don't really have control over that, I feel like that's where I kind of see like the results because it's like kind of just like a raw photo. Like, I don't know what the angle is. I just know like that's what I look like from that angle. That's not necessarily maybe a good angle, but looking at these photos, it's like, I see you. I've always just been really like skinny. And I mean, I guess like the grass is always greener on the other side. Like I'm sure there's people that wish they had like my body type and you know I there's body types that I wish I had oh my god my battery is low um but it just feels good to like I don't know change that and like start to see like curves and just like more I don't know just like more shape and it's cool because you know like you've put in that time and that work and that effort and it's cool to like see results it's the most rewarding feeling ever or like not even just like my legs and stuff, but like even just like with my arms, my back, like everything. It's kind of a, almost like a metaphor for the rest of life too and just like goals in general, not even fitness. But it's like, it's really what you do every day. And like I was saying earlier, if you put your all into something every single day, like do, try your best every day, that's when you see results. Like we just want those instant results, but that's not like possible. Um, so just like try your best every day, put in the work and enjoy the process of doing something. Don't just do it for the end result. Like enjoy the day to day. Like I love going to the gym every day. And I think, you know, it's because of that. I'm not just like, oh, like I wish I had like more definition here or like a thicker whatever. And I'm just like crying about it. It's like, okay, I'm going to go put in the work and enjoy it. And results come. It feels good. And I'm just so thankful that I have this platform to like share that on and document it and it's super exciting. So I'm going to do this workout. I'm going to charge my camera while that's doing that. Um, if you want to see a butt workout, a leg workout, I'll link it down below, but um, I'm going to go do this. This is 
heavy. What's up guys? I just had like a very chill day of editing vids, being responsible. So what do I do at night? What do I do when I go to bed so early? No, but I thought I would um, just like share some musical faves of mine because I do get asked a lot like, what do I listen to? So I was just like listening to music. <sighs> My favorite is like when people have a, like no shade, no tea, okay? But my favorite is when people have like a tattoo of like a music note and they're like, I got it because I love music. So, duh, a lot of people are often surprised by my music taste, but I feel like my music taste is very basic. I feel like they expect it to be basic in a different kind of way. Like y'all know me from 2015, like I'm the same bitch, 2014, 2015, like I still get down to a party next door. Yeah, I just listened to a lot of like pretty mainstream rappers. Let me give you a tour of my Apple Music. I'm also gonna turn off the dishwasher for now. Okay, ew, it's like, who are these randoms? Okay, that's me. Okay, so I have a playlist. This is probably my most listened to playlist. It's called We Love A Little Affirmation. I like to listen to this when I'm at the gym. But yeah, I just kinda like add songs as I go, but it's just a lot of like basic songs that like would pump you up if you were like trying to get thick. You know what I mean? Like it's just like we know. And then I also really like '90s, like R&B and hip hop, of course. We know all the annoying tweets. We see, we peep. Okay, we get it. And then I love like a good Imagine Jordan, you know, a good Frank Ocean. But yeah, I just say a little of everything. I don't really have a lot of like really top songs I'm listening to right now. I just kind of listen to my playlist or like, like, same. This is a good example of me. It's like a YG curated playlist, Drake's new single, YG's new single, and like a royalty free, you can't even see it, but there's like a royalty free song that I'm like using for a video. They like somehow got put onto my phone. If you wanna peep, um, I don't know, if you don't have Apple Music, can you still like view a, a playlist? I don't know, but I'll link a couple of my favorites down below. I do have a good variety even though I do have a specific taste. I'm low-key, very low-key hungry, so I might just eat like some fruit or something. So my nighttime routine is like, I'll like chill on my phone, then I try to put my phone away, you know, not really look at it. Maybe I'll take a shower, depends, or I'll like at least, you know, do my nighttime skincare routine. Listen to affirmations while I do that. Listen to 528 hertz, do a little journal. Sitting with your legs like up the wall is really great too. Um, but I do all of that and I don't know, it's just so, it helps so much to just change your mindset and have a good night's sleep and yeah. Guys, like there's so many things you could be doing. Like don't have caffeine after, like I try to have, not have caffeine after like noon, really. Like unless it's like a green tea or something. Don't be on your phone before bed, you know? Like try to take a shower or at least have like a little <sighs> face wash and like, do a little lavender essential oil. I'm gonna go do my skincare and all of that. So thanks for watching. Love you guys. Subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Ooh, 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 ooh.